Right guys, so I just thought I'd make a quick product review in order to tell you about this new bag which I picked up on Amazon for £16. In the United States of America, that's $20. Boy, am I impressed with this setup. Now, the version I went for is the 50 litre version. I was going to go for the 30 litres, but then I realised that I may want, you know, to stay out a little bit longer in the field, which is why I went for the 50 litre version. And boy, oh boy, I am glad that I did. Now, the unique features about this system, this bike system, is that it comes with two unique side pockets. These I use for my fire lighting kit and then in the other pocket, I use for my canteen and then at the bottom of the pack itself it has this uh, you know very good detachable lower bag which can also be used you know as a bum bag or a waist bag or if you don't don't want to use it as a bum bag or a waist bag then you can actually use it as a messenger bag and literally throw this thing over your shoulder and you know as you can see i use it to carry you know my knife my wildlife camera you know i would also probably use this to collect firewood in you know stuff like that or i may carry my first aid in there but again you know this bottom lower bag is basically you know you've already got your 16 sorry your 20 dollars or your 16 point in this lower bag system itself now the one thing why i can tell you why i don't like about this lower bag system is then the fact that it attaches to the actual main compartment of the bag via buttons you know the snap-on buttons now I don't I don't particularly trust these snap-on buttons on the weight because I've got a funny feeling that they will come loose in the field and you know you'll probably get to your next camp and be like hang on where's my bag gone particularly if you're listening to music which is again which is why I don't trust these snap-on buttons so what I've done is I've managed to use these uh, what's called these uh, fasten clips and I've managed to literally use these clips to attach the lower bag to the main compartment of the bag itself so now i totally 100 percent trust this system to not fall off when i'm in the field now moving on what else can i tell you about this system well the webbing on the system is absolutely awesome i mean the handle is just totally great i totally you know um I've got trust in the handle not to rip. Now moving on to the actual carrying straps. Now the carrying straps again, the webbing is of high quality, the buckles is of high quality. However, the shoulder pads, there's not much padding in there. You know, this carrying system would have been absolutely awesome if it had more padding in there. But again, I would say if you have more padding in there, you're going to fall like a 50 pound, you know, uh, 80 United States a dollar bag system. Again, this system only costs 20 United States dollars and 15, uh, sorry, 16 pound in the UK. Now, going back to the like uh, the sips, the sips are qualities on this. You've got nice chunky sips there. The teeth of the sips are absolutely awesome. Now, moving on to the buckles, like I said, to the buckles, they're of great quality. Moving on to the stitching of the bagging, the stitching is just absolutely great. You've got double stitching where applicable for reinforcement. You have the square boxed stitching and you also have a backtrack stitching where it's needed applicable again for reinforcement now moving on to the webbing again now the webbing i've already said is of high quality but the version i got you know did require some uh sewing on my part itself for example if we have a look at you know uh, where the locked off webbing should be then on the unit i got i found that my webbing at certain parts like by the buckles was not locked off 
So as you can see in the video, I was able to just, you know, pull the webbing straight out of the buckle. So I got out my old trusty sewing machine and I done my own sewing and I locked off the webbing where it needed to be locked off. So my guess is, is that at the factory they may have, you know, ran out of thread and, you know, simply sold these rucksacks on for cheap and it's been left to like me to lock it off but again i've got no cribbles this is an awesome you know system there so we have the button locks on it again i don't trust these button locks but i've reinforced the entire system with these d locks moving on we have uh you know Actually, do you want to know some of the guys? I don't think I need to move on to anything because, you know... Oh, yeah, 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 I actually do have to move on to something. Now, coming on to the logo system, you see this logo pack here? Now, you don't actually get any Velcro installed on this bag system. So instead, I installed my own Velcro. And by the time I've made this video, I've actually gone one step, one step further and I've actually installed a permanent velcro onto my bagging system and i've actually changed my pack to a fox to represent fox recon but again this entire system is absolutely awesome for the price that you are paying for it you know if 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 there's a group of you you know instead of buying one of these bags i would actually buy two or maybe three because these bags are an absolute steal guys again look at the web and the web in this quality look at the station is quality going back to the material the material feels strong however i know it's a weather resistant but i'm not too sure if it's rip resistant so if you jump over and get caught on barbed wire it creates a rip is that rip going to continue to grow? I don't know, but the one thing I can tell you guys is that I can repair that with my sewing machine. But overall guys, if you're in the market for a rucksack to take with you in the field, then go for this. It comes in the 30 litre version and the 50 litre version. Right guys, thanks for watching my review and thank you for, you know, tuning back into Fox Recon.